Also making news, former House Speaker Dennis Hastert, whose stunning fall from grace began with allegations of child sexual abuse, is back home in Illinois tonight. CBS 2's Jim Williams reports Hastert was released from prison but still remains under federal supervision. This is the last time we saw Dennis Hastert, June of last year, appearing feeble in a wheelchair, accompanied by his wife as the former House Speaker entered a Minnesota federal prison. A spokesman for the Federal Bureau of Prisons told us, on June 17, 2017, John Dennis Haster transferred from the Federal Medical Center, Rochester, and is currently under the jurisdiction of the Chicago Residential Reentry Management Office. The spokesman would not reveal the exact location. CBS2 legal analyst Irv Miller says authorities are likely to take the 75-year-old Haster's poor health into consideration. He's got medical issues, though, and I doubt that the Bureau of Prisons is going to want to keep him in a halfway house. He's either going to be placed in a nursing home, a hospital, or home under the care of a doctor. Hastert spent 13 months in prison for breaking banking laws to conceal his sexual abuse of boys while he was a coach and teacher more than 40 years ago, not for the sexual abuse itself. Tonight, one Hastert accuser, Scott Cross, appeared on CNN. It was like kind of like a slap on the wrist. He was uh, charged with a financial crime, not what he had actually done to myself and others. These sexual allegations were barred by that statute of limitations. What wasn't barred was the money laundering. But Illinois lawmakers outraged Hastert could not be prosecuted for the sex crimes have since passed legislation eliminating the statute of limitations for the sexual abuse of children. It awaits the governor's signature. We have a lot of survivors in our organization who are right now struggling because they're unable to pursue justice for crimes committed against them. We've reached out to the governor's office. No word yet whether he'll sign the bill. There are still civil cases against Haster to be resolved, and he's filed a countersuit against one victim. Rob and Erica Irv Miller says we don't even know if the judge is going to rule. He had a legal agreement because it might be seen as an agreement to enforce blackmail. Well, there's so many issues here. That's I mean, right. the, the child sexual abuse, the banking laws, where to put him for the next uh, so you know future time. Yeah, and as Irv says, we you know he could be at a halfway house, possibly on the west side of Chicago, but he might be released to a medical facility or home. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Jim. Mm -hmm.